Thank you for joining us today at Mentor Wargaming Labs, where now we'll be putting together, building, the Judicare from the Indominus box set. So you can see most of the model is on this part of the sprue right here, a little spread out. So let's get cutting. So you got the arm in the back cut out. So I'll start cleaning the models up. Clipped them tight from the sprue and I'll just use the X-Acto blade to clean up any rough edges from where the clippers cut it from the sprue. Now once I shave down the nubbins I'll take my metal file and I'll just connect the dots between all the tie-ins from the uh, sprue lines to the model and I'll just start lightly filing those away. Once I've felt it, sometimes I'll go back with the X-Acto blade using the flat of the edge, get any spots I missed, and clean off some of these shavings. Make it smooth. Be careful filing around the pommel grip and the fingers. Don't want to erase any of those details. So I'll affix the arm to the frame. And what I'll do is I'll use my plastic glue, just put a little around the edge of the pinhole here, and then I'll start fusing the parts together. The push fit is a high tolerance, so it should stay together, but I like the extra security of having glue in place. So let's move on to the chest piece and the head. careful working with the pins on the model. They tie into their slots very tightly and so any excess shredding or filings can jam up the hole. And I'm probably not going to file his head because he actually has a very fine detailed band running with the mold line so I'll do more damage than good. So let's sit his head down in the torso head. and line up the holes. I'll just press, before we press down all the way, make sure to squeeze a little glue. And we'll definitely want it down the sides of this tabard. Now we make a nice clean fuse line. Now we've got the majority of his body assembled. Let's find some stuff to decorate the base. So I'm going to pick out this partial Necron scroll, skull. So that's why I'll have him tie into the base. And I'll have the Necron skull go back there. Now we have him on his base, we got a stable platform to work with. So let's start putting some of his other stuff on. We'll start with the arm and his backpack. Here's his backpack. Get his arm and his hand. Light bit of glue around the peg, but not on it. So his arm will slide right on. Okay. 
Alright, put a bit of glue around his backpack. Ties in. We'll slide that into place. Now his hand piece here is a little delicate, so we'll see how much we'll actually end up cleaning. Sometimes cleaning the mold lines will destroy more detail than enhance it. And see when I'm filing this, I'm using my thumb. Since this is loosely connected by a thin piece of plastic right here, I'm going to use my thumb to brace it and then just run the file in one direction. So it pushes against my thumb and doesn't rip it off this model. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue there. Oh, I put his arm on wrong. There we go. Nice thing about plastic glue is once it sets, it sets, but you do have a little bit of play time versus super glue. And I broke that little piece off. Exactly what I was trying to avoid. All right, let's say you're assembling it and you do that. A little touch. Glue there. And I'm gonna have to hold this in place for a while. Now, I tied him into the base earlier, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of plastic glue down in the bottom parts of these pegs, like where he is. So, this is one of the new characters from the Indominus box set, the Judicare. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. What an excellently sculpted model. So, thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and we'll see you next time.